My name is Thomas Hennemann. I'm Field Application for AMS Osram. I'm based in Munich, Germany. Um, the demo we have here is our latest Mira 220 image sensor from our new Mira family. Um, the Mira family is a new one with enhanced performance over our previous uh, products there. The sensor is very small. We achieved that through a stack die approach. So we have a top um, die with the photo diodes that are backside illuminated. And then we have on the bottom of that, a second die with all the analog, analog to digital conversion. So that enables us to get a very low footprint by getting a very high performance. Also the backside illumination allows us to get very high quantum efficiency in the near infrared space. We have the highest quantum efficiency and sensitivity in the near infrared space in the market out there. So for all the applications requiring infrared uh, illumination, 3D imaging that requires structured light, infrared projection, this will give us a big advantage over competing products out there. The applications, we show this here in a robotic context, uh, can be autonomous vehicle where you need to do 3D mapping of the space where these vehicles or robots are moving. Um, could also be consumer applications outside the industry space, cleaning robots, walking around. But it could also be in combination with 3D, again, smart locks where you identify persons looking at the faces there. What we see here is our development system for our customers to evaluate and start development. We have a processing board based on the NVIDIA Jetson processor type. We have a camera here that is showcasing our Mira 220 that's connected through MIPI interface to the Jetson board, which does all the processing. So the result of the processing you see on the screen here, so you see the video image. The customer can evaluate the part by changing here resolutions, bit depth, exposure time, how many frames per second they want to display and play with other configuration parameters of the sensor itself. But they can also use a script language to do their own configuration on, and devi deviate from the given GUI here. So that's a, really a complete evaluation system. If they want to start developing, then they can of course use the Jetson board as well. They will get drivers from us based on Linux and can start from there. Or they can move to their own processor for that purpose.